Hare Krishna. Today we are going to talk on a very very important temple of Vrindavan. There is a historical temple of Vrindavan called as Radha Damodar Temple. This is one of the most beautiful temples located in the Seva Kunj area of Vrindavan. The deity of the main deity of this temple is called as Shushi Radha Damodar. These deities were personally hand carved by Shila Rupa Goswami and gifted to his disciple and nephew Shila Jiva Goswami. This deity worship was started in 1542 and they were installed in the temple. Since then, the worship is going on. This temple, apart from Shishirada Damodar deities, there are other deities also. On the left side, on the right side of uh, Radha Damodar, there is uh, Radha Vrindavan Chandra, which is the worshipful deity of Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. On the other side, we have Radha Madha, which are the worshipful deities of Shri Jayadev Goswami. Then we also have uh, the deities of Radha Chhel Chicken, which are the worshipful deities of Shri Bhugar Goswami. One very special thing in this whole altar of Radha Damodar is the Govardhan Shila, which was actually given by Lord Krishna to Shila Sanatan Goswami. It is said that this great devotee Shila Sanatan Goswami, the elder brother of Rupa Goswami, used to do Govardhan Parikrama every day. Now, many times, many of our devotees, when we do Govardhan Parikrama once, we are very tired. But this Govardhan Parikrama. Shila, Rupa, uh, Shila Sanatan Goswami used to do every single day, even in when he was very old. Seeing his situation, the Supreme Lord Krishna personally appeared to him as a small covered boy and said, My dear Sanatan Goswami, you have become old now. Stop this. Stop doing this parikrama. In fact, it is said that Sanatan Goswami used to do the longer Gordhan parikrama. The current Govardhan Parikrama, which generally devotees do, it's almost 21 kilometers. It is said that Sanatan Goswami used to do a bigger Parikrama, which was almost 30-32 kilometers. So every day Sanatan Goswami used to do, that was his determination. And seeing that, Lord told him that you don't do it. And Sanatan Goswami replied, my dear Lord, this is my devotional service. How can I stop it? And seeing the determination of Sanatan Goswami, Lord actually took one Giriraj Shila and just stood upon this Giriraj Shila and started playing his flute. And when the Lord started playing this flute, the Shila started melting. And then the Lord told Sanatan Goswami, this is the same Giriraj Shila. You should from today on, if you just worship and circumambulate this Shila, it is as good as doing the whole Giriraj Parikrama. Even today, when you ask the Pujari, of Radha Damodar temple, they will show you this Shila. This Shila has the footprints of Krishna, it has marks of a hoof print of a calf, a flute and a cow herding stick. So that special darshan you can get in Radha Damodar. Also apart from this beautiful deities and Giriraj Shila, there are many special samadhis of great personalities like Shila Krishna Das Kavaraj Goswami who is the author of the great Chaitanya Charitamrit. Then we have uh, the uh, Samadhis of uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, when we have Bhugar Goswami. We, are, we also have the Samadhi of Srila Rupa Goswami. In fact, we as Iskorn devotees, we are follower of Srila Rupa Goswami. We are called as Rupa Nugas. And it was Srila Rupa Goswami who actually gave us the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the, the guidelines of devotional service. Then he had written the nectar of instruction or Upadesh Amrit. What exactly is Bhakti and what all the things which are favorable for Bhakti. So that is the Bhajan Kutir and Samadhi of Shila 
Rupa Goswami also here in this most holy place of Radha Damodar Temple. This place is extremely, extremely important for the devotees of ISKCON. Why is it? Because the founder of ISKCON, Srila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, before going to America, before starting the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, used to stay in this small room of Radha Damodar. In fact, Srila Prabhupada, way back in 1959, came here and he started translating the first canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam here from Sanskrit to English. It was a great effort of, you know, going through the commentaries of the past Acharyas and then writing commentaries on the first canto of the Bhagavatam. So this beautiful temple of Radha Damodar has Srila Prabhupada's room where Prabhupada used to write and meet people and it also has a small kitchen where Prabhupada used to cook for him and this is the beautiful place in Radha Damodar temple. In fact, this is the place we can say was the beginning of Iskon. This was a place where Srila Prabhupada used to pray to Radha Damodar, pray to Lord uh, Krishna and Radha Rani and all the Acharyas. In fact, from the kitchen of Srila Prabhupada, from the window, you, Prabhupada, you can see the Samadhi of Rupa Goswami. Prabhupada used to constantly pray to Rupa Goswami, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, to empower him so that he can preach this knowledge of the Gita and the Bhagavat and in English language and fulfill the dream of his Guru Maharaj Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarutaku. So in this way we saw that how this special place Radha Damodar is one of the most important place in the entire universe. So that is the glory of Shri Radha Damodar. Jai Shri Radha Damodar ki jai. Shila Jiva Goswami ki jai. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.